Let's talk a bit about investment appraisal and the functions in Excel which make this much easier. So we're looking at a business case here where over a period of time we're going to invest £18,900 into a project and over the first to the fifth year of that project we're going to get certain paybacks. Now we're going to use the net present value function or NPV formula to help us understand how strong this payback is and whether it's worth investing in this project. Now the way we're going to do that is by going here and typing in equals NPV open bracket and then the syntax asks us for a rate. Now, what rate do we use when calculating net present value? Well, you need to think about it this way. If you're investing in a project and your money not being invested in that project might return you, let's say, 10% a year, then you need to weigh up, well, is it really worth me investing in the project in the first place when without the risk, I could already guarantee 10% a year. So you need to take that opportunity of that 10% a year as a cost. Because if you're not putting your money to get 10% a year and you're doing something else, effectively you're missing out of that opportunity. And this is what the NPV function is useful for. So we're going to assume 10% a year is our opportunity if we put that money somewhere else. And we're going to fix it to that rate. Then it asks us for a series of values. Now, what's important here is that the values need to be in order of when they occur. So make sure your data or your table or your report is structured such in a way that you see in front of you. Now, one way to shortcut this, which is what we're going to do, is to highlight where you want the formula to start or the amounts where you want them to start and then drag that across to where you want them to end and I'm going to fix those on there. So it's going to look through these values in order and calculate the NPV. Now the real NPV of this project, we're going to add something to this formula now, is going to have to take into account well the initial capital we had to start with. Okay so here on my cash flow I know that I'm going to be losing £18,900 as well. So let's just shortcut adding more cells to this report and add this on the end of the formula. So 18,914, we'll fix it to there and hit enter. Great. So what has this actually done? Well, it's told me that over the period of time, instead of my project returning 18,517, well, really, it'll do that. But I've got to discount that at 10% a year because that's what I would earn anyway. So it's telling me the worthwhile part of doing this project will bring me back 7,574 in today's money terms. If you'd like more support in using this function, just download from the link provided with this video. See you in the next tutorial.